Erica, if you just Google or YouTube Gutsy Gibbon heat problem, you'll find many videos. She thinks this is the fatal blow to young earth creation. She thinks it precludes young earth creation, which means young earth creation is impossible. Don't even entertain it. Don't even consider it because the global flood produces way too much heat due to the catastrophic nature of it. Catastrophic plate tectonics, volcanism, meteors striking the earth, accelerated nuclear decay. There's just too much heat and energy and radiation produced that the oceans would be vaporized, the crust would melt, Noah, his family, the ark animals would essentially be eradicated due to all this heat. Okay. And so I've pointed out that wait a minute. We have incredible evidence for accelerated decay through things like helium and zircon crystals, radio halos. As a matter of fact, radio halos, which require accelerated processes, accelerated decay processes, Dr. Andrew Snelling discussed this in our comprehensive program that demolishes the best arguments on this issue that evolutionists such as Erica, Ken Walgemuth, Lawrence G. Collins could put forth and present. Okay. He demolishes isochron dating. He shows why radio halos require accelerated decay to form. Okay. But experiments have actually shown, observations have actually shown that radio halos are actually obliterated at relatively low temperatures. Well, why is that important? That means if there was actually a heat problem, like the evolutionists have asserted, that means these radio halos would have been obliterated. They wouldn't be there. Wait a minute. Think about it. And, and Erica attempted to respond. She used arguments from Lawrence G. Collins. Anyways, the point is, and others, if I can remember correctly, we had Dr. Andrew Snelling on and he demolished critics like Lawrence G. Collins. He demonstrated that, yes, radio halos require accelerated processes. And yet, if there was a heat problem, those radio halos wouldn't be there. But accelerated decay processes are the only way radio halos could even be there in the rocks in the first place. That means there must have been a solution to the heat problem, which means there's no heat problem. So the evolutionists, if they want to keep saying that the so-called heat problem precludes young earth creation, they need to successfully deal with the radio halos.